So guys, notice what happens to this graph on this histogram when I turn off this layer and when I turn off this layer. In this video, I want to show you how to use the histogram to know when your image is overexposed, underexposed, or when the exposure is correct, when the exposure is balanced. I will also show you how to correct overexposure and recover detail, even if your image is depeg or raw. And I will tell you more about the advantages of using raw over JPEG. And with no further ado, let's get started. The first thing you have to notice is this. Uh, this particular graph, the white bars on this graph indicates the pixels on your image. What does that mean? You can see that there are more white bars or higher white bars in this section. That is the rightmost corner of this image currently, meaning your image is overexposed, meaning there are more pixels of your images in the highlight section. One thing I want you to understand, I will show you more details when we get into camera row because there is well labeled. This portion of the histogram, which indicates the highlights or the brightest part of the image, if your image is overexposed, you see that there are more pixels populated in this section. Now let's turn off this layer. You can see that there are more pixels in this particular area, and there are no even there's no single pixels in this portion of your image, right? Hope you understand it. Hope you can see what I'm trying to explain. There's no pixels here at all, meaning your image is underexposed. Now let's turn off this particular one. At this point, you can see that they are evenly distributed from the shadow area to the mid-tone to the highlight. If you want to understand this more, let's create a layers adjustment. Take a look here. This bar here, this indicates the darkest point, meaning you can see the pixels at this point, right? And now there's these pixels at this point, and now this, there are these pixels at the midpoint. So this is something I want you all to pay attention and understand, because if you understand this, you no longer have any issue with exposure on any of your image ever again. So, you can see that if your image is balanced, if you look at the histogram, you notice that all the pixels are evenly distributed. And you can see this long dark bar here, it indicates that the black in this image is very, very high. You understand, right? The black point of this image is very, very high. And that was made to increase the contrast of the image. But what if in a situation where maybe you have this kind of exposure? Or exposure like this what's the best way to correct it i'm going to show you right now let's duplicate the overexposure layer after duplicating this layer we go to camera row now create a camera row filter now this is the point i want you to take good note of shooting your image in row we allow the camera row to preserve more details in the image but even if this image is shot on jpeg which some of you are doing. If you shoot in RAW or in JPEG, let me know in the comment section right now. I personally, and everyone in my studio or at our studio, shoot on RAW because of the tremendous advantages of shooting on RAW. If you want me to go more details about that, let me know in the comment section right now. So if this is a JPEG, because that is the worst scenario if you shoot on JPEG, I have this kind of overexposure. Like maybe you are shooting at an event or something like that. I have this kind of overexposure. The sliders you are going to pull to recover this overexposure are the sliders in this portion of the camera row section, basic section. But now let me show you a trick. This trick is going to be very handy for all of you watching this video. Instead of going on to pull this or pull that at this starting point, sometimes you just have this creative block or this uh, feel overwhelming. You don't even know where to start from. The best thing to use or the best tool to use is a one click tool, which is the auto selection. Just click here like this, auto settings, and voila, it recovers the details for you. Do you know why? Because the camera roll knows exactly what is happening on your image. It knows when it's exposed, when it's underexposed. So at least it gives you this rough base point you can start from. And you can see this particular section here. If you are on this, if you are hovering on your histogram right now, if you hover on this leftmost part of the histogram, you see the blacks. Look at the black, the indication is on the label down here. You see the blacks, shadows, exposure, 
the highlight and the white. Look at them indicated here. Exposure, contrast, highlight, shadow, white, and blacks. You can even adjust your exposure or your white and black from this histogram here. Let's show you that everything about exposure is displayed on the histogram and it's very easy to use to understand and also use to enhance or correct your exposure. So for this panel, if you feel like you want more contrast in your image, you can come and increase the contrast. If you feel like, oh, the black is not as you want, you can come and increase the black. But just know that anything you're doing at this point is correct. Your exposure is already balanced. And you're just using your artistic drive to balance or increase or enhance what has already been there. And when you're okay with it, you click on OK and come back into Photoshop. From this stage, you can go on to color correct, color grid, and enhance your skin tone and do whatsoever you feel is pleasant. This step is actually best before even retouching your image so that you cover all the details before starting to retouch your image. And if your image is underexposed, the same applies to it. If you have having overexposed image or underexposed image, the camera raw filter is your best bet. If you try to use the curves or the levels when it is overexposed or extremely underexposed, it's going to be very difficult for you and it's going to waste your time, which is not necessary. So the best thing to use is the camera raw filter. If you find this helpful, please give a like to this video and leave your feedback in the comment section. But at this point like this, you can still go on to use the levels to balance this out. Like you can see that there's a gap here. If you look at this histogram very well, it's a gap here, meaning you can still increase the watts a little bit to give it a punch. Something as simple as this. This was the before, this is the after. You can barely see the difference. So that is just how this particular stuff is done. Slammy Photography has a full retouching course. We offer mentorship program, retouching program, that we can retouch your images for you at very cheap, affordable price. You can check the comment section right now or check the description. There are links there to reach out to me personally on Instagram and we can discuss and get to work. If you haven't liked this video, please like this video. Leave a like and comment. Happy to be part of a creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.